All right, well, we're going to start our second uh, panel where we're going to learn from other sectors about effective ways to spread and scale. And uh, I want to introduce a fellow roundtable member, Mary Pittman, who is the president and chief executive officer of the Public Health Institute and was a critical member of our planning committee for this whole workshop. So Mary, take it away. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah. So before I introduce our really extraordinary panel, I wanted to take a moment just to reflect on some of the articles that we were provided for this session, because I think the IOM team does a great job in pulling background materials together for us. And I thought they were particularly interesting because they posed both some interesting questions and challenges for the concept of scalability and spread that cut across uh, different sector approaches. And so this panel is going to be discussing what we can learn from other sectors about effective ways to spread. And I want to point out a few, a few thoughts. And first, I'll state a bias. Um, I think we use the term transformation and transformative approaches a little too loosely. So as we're talking about scale and spread of innovation and transformation, I'd like the panelists to be particular about your language. So if you think you're doing something that's really transformative, help describe what constitutes transformation versus just an effective program. Um, and in the, in the packet of information, the um, Lavinghouse et al. article from the American Journal of Public Health outlined the need to have program level capacity to effectively implement and sustain programs within a larger public health infrastructure. So I read that and I nodded, yes, you know, of course, um, both governmental and nonprofit public health infrastructure has been underfunded for years. But then do we just continue to fund up our existing infrastructure and our existing ways of doing programs, or do we need to be thinking and designing differently to get the scale and spread of the innovation and solutions to some of these big problems? So as you're talking about your programs, I'd like all of us in the audience as well to be thinking about, do we need to be looking at design of new ways of doing our work, as well as funding what we've been doing. A more radical approach was outlined by Lublin and Finger in the Stanford um, Innovation Review about dosomething.org, where they cut programs and focused on campaigns on issues that were selected, with their approach being to get young people engaged. So in thinking about that, that's transformative in terms of their approach, but then there's the question of sustainability. Are those initiatives where they get young people engaged in a campaign sustainable for change? Many of the articles lamented on the scale and scope problem and the insufficiency of funding. Um, the Isaacs and Jelinek article, which was talking about foundation funding, um, really talked about the level of impact and whether or not we should be focusing on numerator or denominator. So an, another issue for us to contemplate. So based on some of our discussions, um, I think you'll find this panel very interesting. What I'd, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is th their bios are in your book, so I'm not going to go through that, but have each one, <clears throat> excuse me, each one come up to the um, mic, starting with Linda Kaufman. And, um, excuse me, Linda is the National Movement Manager for Community Solutions Zero 2016. Linda? <laughs> <laughs> 